watching as girl by girl came to her to speak to her and her presence as you know without speaking and without doing silly things she's felt very much so mama she was uh, phenomenal to have her again um, and we thank her very much so now uh, a few other thank yous um, I want to thank uh, Jackie deteriorate as the people are mentioned <laughs> so um, again the trip wouldn't be the same I think probably the highlight for many people we, get, we didn't get to discuss it yet because we were too late on what's this about um, but a highlight for many people on the trip was the uh, letters which was done really by a Fitch She's hiding somewhere. Where's your fit? Your fit? Okay, so. so your fit's been involved right through in all of the preparation, a lot of the logistics. She's been writing to your parents every night. She's been with you. It's fantastic to have her here as a, as a, an invite. Uh, you couldn't have this trip without Jeremy. Jeremy. Uh, I told you they deteriorate. <laughs> they totally deteriorate. <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. Absolute rubbish. <laughs> shot. That was a rubbish, rubbish shot. Jeremy, 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 Jeremy. <laughs> and you can't copy. <laughs> so the, the organisation, you might think because he does it twice a year that it all that it's all just automatic it is and almost everything that we do every day we talk through we don't always do it exactly the same way there are times that you do it in different ways times you've got no choice and he's in constant contact with uh, Carolina even a long time before you've even signed up for the for the trip and um, it, it takes a lot of work and I, I think he's he's probably one of the best uh, 
total tour guides out there. Yeah. So. Yeah. I want to give you, uh, I want to give you a, a final message. I think it's very significant that we, that we uh, are ending where we started. We've never started here. We've never ended here. Um, before we left, seems like a year ago. But before we left, um, we stood here, kind of anticipation looking, and I spoke about Yaakov leaving to go to the house of Lavan. Vayetze Yaakov, Vayelech Harana, and he went to a place of Haran, of Haron Af, a place of anger, a place of hate. It's almost inconceivable that this morning we, we had our feet in the snow of Kiev. And this afternoon, we're looking at the old city of Jerusalem. It's inconceivable. You know, that kind of speed that you can be in <coughs> such a toilet and then, and then, <laughs> and then be in such Kedusha within, within four hours. It's unbelievable, really. Really, it's unbelievable how many times you fly. It's, how you could go from Choshech Laor in, in such... But there's something else about Yaakov, which I think is very pertinent to you, ladies. Uh, when Yaakov comes back after 22 years... Uh, the Pasuk says that he came back Shalim. And you have, number one, I think you've been incredible all week. Very, uh, you know, really excellent. You've been um, in everything, in the participation. I think you've been going to the toilet in an excellent way at different times. Uh, the forest, I, I think you did really well. And... Uh, so, no, really, you've been you've been a phenomenal group. It's been a real, you know. When I think, why do I come? Because I, you know, it's a trip that can happen without me, really. And then, so, why do I come? I come to meet the oh, sorry. oh yes, it can. Uh, yeah. um, I'll start, okay. <laughs> um, but it's been for me, you know, for some of you who I've almost not seen all year because you've just been doing your stuff. It's been uh, phenomenal to see you. <laughs> but it, it's, it's been wonderful to, to see you in this light. Um, I hope it's mutual. It's been, it's been phenomenal. I hope this means also we can develop that. But also that you have a certain shleimut. You've, every time you go through hard things in life, uh, difficult moments, uh, people have difficult moments. And if they don't have a difficult moment, they have a difficult moment about that. We all have difficult moments. And every year I have different places where I have difficult moments. Um, and, uh, but you grow. You grow from that. And that's the only way a person can become Shalim is by going out there and, and seeing. And uh, you come back, you see things now that will stay with you for the rest of your life. And, uh, you know, and uh, you have a certain Shalim And the question is, like Jeremy said, when he was telling you that story on Friday night, and then I mentioned it again uh, later on, that uh, the question is what you do with it. Don't stay there, okay? I know we want to. The first time I went to Poland, it took me months to to kind of get on track. But it, it's a no-goer. It, don't stay there. It, it's done. We've done it. Now, the question is what you're going to do with it. That's it. What are you going to do with it? Like, what lessons are you going to learn? We're not going to go back there. We'll have other tissue. We'll have other things that will be equally as good, and they'll just be different. That's all. They'll be with your other friends, and we'll do it differently. Uh, we've still got a half year to go, and we still got a lot of big things to do. We've got Purim, we've got Yom Rishalai, we've got Yom Atzvah. We've got a lot of big things to do. Um, but the question now for everyone is, is to take it and to internalize it. What are you going to do with it? So what are you going to do about it? You know, each person, the place they were, what they're thinking... Uh, and, and when you know, if you've been in a place like Lejansk, which was, as I said to you on the night, one of the best tissue mills. But now you've been there, so you know you can do that. You've been there, you've been to Mezbush, you've seen, you've been there, you, you, you know, you could do that. And um, so do it. So do it. You don't have to just think, well, that's what we did there. You do it, you do the Shabbos. Now, Sudashi shit this Shabbos. So remember, Sudashi shit doesn't have to finish when Shabbos goes out. We did that this week, two hours. Two hours. Beat that record. Okay. Uh, I started, so now you have to carry on. Okay. You, be, you know, you can do Sudashi shit. You've got that. That's Sudashi shit in the old city coming up this week. You know. And uh, so you, each person has to think what, what, what is. What are we going to do with it? And Baruch Hashem, we've come back to the old city. 
they got another half year in the old city uh, with a lot to come and uh, it's exciting right uh, what are we going to do with it so uh, to you all it's been a pleasure I hope from now on um, you will come into my office not you can come in and say hello and take some chocolate I've still got to meet some girls I didn't meet but um, you know I feel I missed the day um, so that's it Yishakochachem it's been a pleasure and uh, I'll give the final I'll give the final word to uh, Okay, so... So I, I have uh, three things to say. I think three things to say. Um, the first thing is, um, let's all agree together what a privilege it has been to be on this Masa with Rav Mulston. Don't need to say anything else. That's that's the Inyan, okay? The his his presence, his being, his words, his whole his whole. So that's it. <laughs> okay. What the other things I've got to say to you, I want is to to come here, okay? That's looking over at Makoma Mikdash. There are two things I want to say. There are two things I want to say. The first thing is that the for those of you that haven't done this, and I'm sure even if you have done, it's not not enough it's very very important it's very difficult it's very important to get on the phone to your parents and speak to them and thank them thank them for giving you this opportunity and also speak to them maybe not all in one go in stages and try and share with them as much as you can it is very difficult to to explain an experience like this to anybody who hasn't been there and perhaps even a moment where we return to look over at Mokoma Mikdash and the whole process but you owe it to them more than anyone else they gave you the opportunity and that is I think so important and finally I just want to say what we said what I said here last time I think now we can appreciate that much more. For all the Kedoshim, the six million, that didn't survive, what would they have given for one second to be standing by Makom Am Yisrael, Beret Yisrael, looking at Makom Mikdash? looking at Yerushalayim, our Yerushalayim, full of Jews being built. That is a, a dream, their dream, and we are so privileged. <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> 